In this video, we will explore a calculus cholecystitis. The clue is in the name a calculus, which means cholecystitis, inflammation of the gallbladder, but without the stone. We will explore what it is, symptoms, tests to diagnose it, and its treatment. In this cartoon drawing, you can see the liver with the bile tube exiting it, the gallbladder attached to the bile tube, and the bile tube coming down and draining into the bowel, into the small bowel. The main function of the bile is to help digest fat. In calculus cholecystitis, or those with stones, block the exit to gallbladder that causes a lot of pain in the biliary colic. Stones are also associated with other complications. E calculus cholecystitis is different. Let me explain. So let us now look at the gallbladder in isolation and what happens in A calculus cholecystitis. There are no stones. However, the exit to the gallbladder does get blocked and the wall of the gallbladder gets red and inflamed. Typically, the fluid within the gallbladder gets infected. The gallbladder is is hugely inflamed. Why is this dangerous? It's dangerous because this process then may lead to areas within the wall of the gallbladder losing blood supply and becoming necrotic which is dead there's no blood supply going and these areas can just die also the wall of the gallbladder may develop an infection where gas is released within the gallbladder in small bubbles form i've drawn some large bubbles just to make that point and the problem with these processes is that both of these radically increase the risk of the gallbladder perforating and extruding infected bile material with in the abdomen which is hugely dangerous and can be fatal if not treated. Before we talk about the symptoms of a calculus cholecystitis it is important that this condition does not occur in a well person. There's almost always an underlying serious illness that predisposes the development of this condition. So let's look at some of the risk factors. It's important to remember that the serious illness regardless of the cause may lead to this problem and this could be any number of illnesses such as diabetes, anything that suppresses the immunity, heart disease, kidney disease, cancers, infection, even childbirth, trauma, and so on. As I said before, it is characterized by the absence of gallstones and development of inflammation of the gallbladder infection, which may lead to necrosis, breakdown of the wall, and perforation. So what are the symptoms? Whatever illness that the patient suffers with, that may have symptoms in its own right, and patients may be seen as worsening. When patients are not well, they may not be able to tell you what's wrong with them, and hence the treating physicians may only see a generalized worsening of the condition and development of symptoms and signs of infection or sepsis. Those who are well enough or can talk would tell you symptoms much like gallstones such as developing pain in the right side of the abdomen just below the rib cage and yet again this would then steadily worsen if it not treated. And you can see why from the pictures that I've shown as well as the clinical illness that I discussed. So how do you investigate it? A blood test may give you a clue that things are not well and the inflammatory markers suggesting an underlying infection may deteriorate. However, the, it's the ultrasound but more particularly the CT or the MRI scan which will definitely clinch the diagnosis. So patients would be seen not to have any stones. However, their gallbladders would be found to be inflamed, thickened and may have either impending perforation of the gallbladder wall or an actual perforation. So how do you treat this condition once diagnosed? Patients are treated aggressively with antibiotics, but antibiotics alone would not be enough for the great majority of the patients. And those who are well enough sh should undergo an operation to remove, to have the gallbladder removed by way of a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, that is keyhole operation for removal of the gallbladder. Those who are not well enough to have the gallbladder removal should undergo a gallbladder drainage procedure. And what does that mean? It means using ultrasound guidance, a tube is inserted inside the gallbladder and that drains all of the pus and the muck out of the gallbladder and patients usually improve within 24 hours once this is achieved. The tube is then maintained for as long as it's needed and then may be removed once the patient is better. This is a dangerous condition and unless treated aggressively is associated with a risk of mortality. In addition, the underlying diagnosis requires treatment in its own right for the patients to improve. This ends this brief video on A-calculus cholecystitis. I hope you found this informative. If you have any comments, please do share.